Hello everybody, this is my 20th month mark. It is currently the 11th of May, and I just passed my 20 months on the 8th. Which is pretty crazy to think about. There's been a lot of crazy things happening lately. So a quick little update. I am still in the Shyman. I had spent four transfers, which is like about six months, with other Hala. Loved my time. We got a lot of work done, lots of success. And he left about a week ago. He was transferred to Palm, which I served in that same zone when I was serene, Senshi. And he's in the bush. He's loving it. He's great. And I have a new companion now. His name is Ella Kelaha. And he is from New Zealand. Super cool. I love him. We're having a really good time. We're working really hard, seeing lots of success. So, things are, are good. This is my, I'm on my fifth transfer now. I'm a Shyman. I'm a Shymite. Not a Lamanite. I'm Levi. I'm a Shymite. <laughs> I've been here so long. I'll probably end up being here about seven months. So, quite some time. But, I have uh, quite the work cut out for me out with over here. We have this is a mission. We have a standard of three hours of finding every day. Knocking gates, knocking doors, talking to as many people as possible. Which is not easy in the hot sun every day. So we do that. And we also, as missionaries, we reteach all of our recent converts. People have been baptized within a year. We reteach all the missionary lessons that we taught them before baptism. So we do that. We have about 37, 38 recent converts. So that is a challenge. Just trying to see every one of them once a week is hard. That's <clears throat> lots of work. And we have to work with our members, teaching our progressing people, finding, working with our bishopric. Uh, it's a lot of work, but I'm, I'm loving it. I'm still the district leader over here. I have lots of new missionaries in my districts. Actually, in fact, I am the only American in my district. And me and actually my son, Other Mortensen, we're the only Americans in the entire zone. So that's kind of a cool thing. So we have a lot of really cool goals set together as a zone, a district that we're working really hard for. We uh, have zone conference this coming Tuesday, which I'm really excited for. I won't get to see lots of my missionary friends because they've all been transferred now, but it will still be really good to be edified and enriched by beasons and spirit. My One of my good buddies, Other Perkins, he was just made AP a few weeks ago. So that's pretty cool. My best, one of my best friends on mission is now the AP. So <laughs> it's exciting. As for me, I am, I'm working really hard. I'm really loving my time here. There's been lots of crazy things and just difficulty managing just missionary work and life. And it's really hard wanted to stay motivated. I'm sure many of you who, have, who are watching this who have served a mission understand what it feels like to be at this point in a mission. 20 months is very hard. Getting excited about home and about your future is very real. I'm not trying to be a dead missionary but staying alive and working your butt off to the end. It's something that I'm actively doing or at least do my best so i read uh in third nephi this morning for my personal study and i just every time i read that it was just beautiful i read it with one of our recent converts spirit was very strong i read it today personally very strong as well and i was actually able to watch the book of mormon video that is attached to that and it was amazing i loved it just the way that the Savior is portrayed with such humility and such charity for everybody. Everybody that 
comes around and greeted them one by one. And this is beautiful. And he teaches them this simple, very simple doctrine of baptism and his, his gospel, his doctrine. Simple. And that's something that we teach a lot as missionaries as we go out to find new people. The first lesson we teach them is the doctrine of baptism. We invite them to be baptized. Just like that. And people are receptive, they're curious. Lots of the times we just walk up to them and, hey, we'd like to talk to you for just a minute. <clears throat> they're like, oh, I don't have time. Well, can we just show you a picture? So we end up just showing them a picture of John the Baptist and Jesus Christ. Talk for like a few minutes and they're good to go. There's lots of creative ways you can use as a missionary to teach. And honestly, it's really fun to teach and to talk to people. And lately I've noticed that sometimes when you're you're present in the church, <clears throat> you're there, you go to the activities, you go to church, but you don't really feel very happy about it. You don't feel that like joy. You just kind of there. You just feel isolated and alone. I have felt that a lot. And I realized that the gospel especially the church, is ultimately about relationships. The reason that I have, been, I have felt that way in the past is because I didn't have the relationships with the members or the investigators or whoever it is in the church. The, I felt like I was just kind of isolated on my own and I didn't really feel that unity or that synergy from anybody. So I just felt kind of dark so that's something I've learned a lot is that the gospel is about relationships eternal relationships not only with your family but the bishopric the elders from president village society everybody let's just name a few just normal members every every member get to know them have a relationship a brotherhood a sisterhood with them that's what it's about learning, growing, repenting all together, which is something that I've really tried to work on this transfer, getting to know everybody, being outside my comfort zone all the time, teaching, finding, becoming friends, making, making friends, having a relationship with people. And that is where you find joy in the church. That's where I have found it. It takes effort, but I have found lots of joy and happiness that comes from it. And talking to new people every day is, is pretty fun, honestly. It is, I still get nervous, no matter what I do. I always get nervous, but I really enjoy each interaction and it's very unique. I really enjoy talking and greeting and doing my best to be kind. I've been called Obruni probably two million times that's pretty frustrating, but I can't do anything about it. I definitely miss a lot of these things I have in Ghana. There's some things that I won't miss, but I've got a few more months left to soak it all up, and I I don't want any regrets. I'm working hard, and I do my best. I, I love my time here, and I, I'm excited to continue for these next couple of months. I have about five transfer sorry, five weeks left in this transfer. Who knows what the next transfer will bring? I'm in my last three transfers. So after this transfer I'll have two more. So it's getting up pretty quick. So anyway, this is a quick little update. I love all you guys. I know I haven't written an email in a long time. Honestly, I don't like writing emails, but I'll, I'll see what I can do about that. But I love you guys, and uh, we'll talk later. So, the best shot.